In the laboratory, I'm going to create something called lime water. Now, lime water is chemically written as CaOH2. That's also known as calcium hydroxide. Now, to create calcium hydroxide, it's quite a simple process, but keep in mind, as a molecule, calcium hydroxide appears to look like this. So we have a calcium ion here connected to two hydroxide ions there. So calcium as an ion, okay, let's write this down, Ca, has a 2 plus charge, okay? So calcium is positively charged. Now the question is, is how are we going to create calcium hydroxide? Well, in the previous video, I made something called calcium acetate. Now we're going to write that out chemically as Ca CH3 COO close parentheses 2 plus now to create a hydroxide I need a chemical that that is a hydroxide. So our calcium acetate here plus KOH, which stands for potassium hydroxide. Now, potassium hydroxide, when bonded to, when these two molecules bond, okay, is going to yield interesting products. So the first product is what is known as CH3 CO2 K. So that is potassium acetate. But this video is not focused on creating potassium acetate. We want to create something called calcium hydroxide. And that is our final product here. So calcium hydroxide, okay, is an inorganic compound with the chemical formula CaOH2. It has many names, inc including hydrated lime, caustic lime, builder's lime, slack lime, cow, or even pickling lime. Lime water is the common name for a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is a relatively, is, is, calcium hydroxide is relatively insoluble in water, okay? It is large enough that its solutions are basic according to the following chemical reaction. So calcium hydroxide, we write this out as CaOH2 as ions, okay, it's going to appear to look like this. So Ca2 plus, now remember we have two different types of known. So we have anion and cation. Anion is positively charged, so the calcium in this case is our anion. So the second ion present in calcium hydroxide is 2OH minus. So that would be our cation here that's negatively charged. So it's very interesting though. Calcium hydroxide dissolves in pure water to produce an alkaline solution with a pH of, this is where it's interesting, pH of 12.4. That's pretty high. Calcium hydroxide is highly caustic and can attack some metals such as aluminum. Okay? Now, lime water turns milky in the presence of CO2. Why does this happen? This is due to the formation of calcium carbonate, a process called carbonation. So chemically written, we're going to say calcium hydroxide 
plus carbon dioxide. Okay, in essence, this is a gas. Yields, yields, calcium carbonate, okay, plus H2O, water. Another interesting uh, property about uh, calcium hydroxide is that when heated, so if I take calcium hydroxide and I apply a flame and I heat a test tube that's filled with the calcium hydroxide, here's a big flame. The calcium hydroxide, when heated, it decomposes into something called calcium oxide and water. So that's chemically written as like so. So calcium hydroxide yields through thermal decomposition calcium oxide plus H2O, water. Now, we know a little bit about calcium hydroxide, okay? We know that when, cal that we know that when calcium acetate is added to potassium hydroxide, we can create calcium hydroxide. So potassium hydroxide, calcium acetate gives us this interesting molecule. Let's head to the laboratory and let's create calcium hydroxide. Okay, so in this round bottom flask is calcium acetate. So we have the solution of calcium acetate. I'm going to very carefully drop her in potassium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, KOH, to the solution, and you should immediately see the formation of calcium hydroxide form. You are witnessing the formation of calcium hydroxide. Okay, so the white precipitate that you see at the bottom of the flask here is calcium hydroxide. Okay, from here, I'm going to remove the flask from the clamp and swirl the solution around. As you can see, the solution has become colorless. What this means is the calcium hydroxide that was in the solution has dissolved in the dilute solution of the calcium acetate. So there was water present. So the calcium hydroxide has now dissolved in the water. And now we have a final solution of lime water. And as always, thanks for watching.